Good morning, everyone. Sister Candice, growing in grace. Hope y'all are having a good week. Um, I love our devotional for today. Um, as y'all know, and I say this all the time, that whatever God gives me is what I post. So if anybody has a problem with that, what was posted yesterday, you just take it up with the Lord like I told you in the video because I only share what God gives me. And so, you know, if 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 you don't know why or you don't understand it, you just take it up with the Lord. I'm sure he'll he'll talk to you about it. <laughs> um our devotional today is entitled An Unfailing Love of God, and it comes from Romans 8 37 and thir through 39. Yea, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. That is one of my favorite verses. I love the book of Romans. The wonderful hymn, The Love of God, was written by Frederick. During a break from work one day in his job in California, seated on an empty lemon box, he took a pencil and wrote the chorus to the first two stanzas. The third stanza was actually much older, based on a poem written by a Jewish rabbi more than a thousand years ago. Could we ink the ocean fill? And were the skies of parchment made? Were every stalk of earth of a quail and every man a scribe by trade? To write the love of God above would drain the ocean dry. Nor could the scroll contain the whole, though sketched from sky to sky. There is nothing more powerful than the love of God. This is the reason that Jesus came into the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that's John three sixteen. Us child of God, you know you knew the verse before I ever told you where it was from. God's love made possible the salvation that has changed the course of our eternal destiny and given us the incredible gift of eternal life and a relationship with God through Christ. God love, God's love is not meant to be hoarded. In fact, one of the wonderful things about God's love is that it is not diminished when, we, when it is shared. As we obey the Great Commission and reach others with the gospel, we bring God's love to those who are urgently needing, needed it. We should be living in the fullness of God's love so much that sharing it is natural results. Our growth principle is having been blessed to receive the wonderful gift of God, love in our lives, we have privileged responsibility to share with others. And it gives Matthew 27, verse 1 through 26. And you know, on my channel, that's what I do. I share God's word and other YouTube channels that, that are based on, on the Lord. They share God's word with, with you too. Um, I love the title, The Unfailing Love of God. And the day before yesterday was The Unfailing Promises. Our Bible is full of promises that God gives us. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. But the Lord loves you so much more.